Hey you, why aren't you out with your friends? Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Do you know how you can fix that? You can get a job. All you need is two to three years of work experience, a master's degree, and three scales from a grown white dragon. Pretty easy to find, huh? Let's be honest here, entry level jobs tend to have a requirement of experience beforehand. So today I'm going to talk to you about getting your first job so you have a better idea of what it is that you want to look for. My name's Melissa, this is How to Adult, let's get started. Entry level jobs that require some kind of experience is the biggest catch 22 that I've ever experienced. So when you're looking for your first job, I suggest you start with one of the bigger companies as they're more likely to hire you since they provide their own training. Companies such as these all have an online search and application system. Working in retail or hospitality is a great place to start as you'll learn many transferable skills. Getting an apprenticeship is a great opportunity. Yeah, the pay isn't great while you're doing the apprenticeship and some of them can take years but from what I can see, it's worth it. There has been a stereotype that tradies don't tend to earn a lot of money, but not only is that incredibly rude, it's also false. Australia is experiencing a skills shortage, and it has for quite a while. A successful tradie can make a buttload of money, and they can open their own business and be their own bosses. You can even get a franchise with a company such as Jim Mowing and still be your own boss. And skilled workers are crazy important. Where will we be without electricians and plumbers? <laughs> Joining the Defence Force is also a great option. They have many great benefits, including a decent starting pay rate. They offer a lot of further education opportunities in some cases, you can travel the world. And they don't just handle combat situations. They also do humanitarian and disaster relief work. If you think it's for you, definitely check it out. If you want to join the police force or become a firefighter, you can do so without having higher education. Each state has some differences, but most of them do require that you have completed high school. Both police and fire services require that you pass a series of tests, including physical, psychological, and theory tests. And that's before they start training you. If you have a passion for helping people, are very physically fit and emotionally strong, this might be the career for you. There are so many jobs that you can enter that have on the job training, such as a factory worker, a fruit picker, a cleaner, and so many more. You just need to have a look. Now I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, I can just be an entrepreneur, I don't need to get a job. This can be true in some cases, but I'd still consider getting a job for a number of reasons. Being a full-time employee, you are entitled to a certain benefits, such as paid leave, a stable income, fixed working hours, and less responsibility. Even as a casual worker, you still have some benefits compared to being self-employed. Getting a job after your education will provide the security and the experience that you'll need as a young adult. You'll find it easier to move out or save for your own home with a stable income. It will also help you re-enter the workforce if you have to. Plus things change and they will change for you. When I was 18, I lived in a two bedroom apartment for $2.20 a fortnight, had no internet and I called my boyfriend on the landline. This was before YouTube and Facebook was brand new. So while you might be very successful selling art on Instagram, there will be a new social media app or a completely new technology that changes everything again. Having experience in the workforce will help you improve your work ethic, adaptability in many situations, and give you opportunities to learn other skills necessary to be successful. In Australia, there isn't any minimum working age. However, there are restrictions to young workers. For example, in some states, you're not allowed to work during school hours until you get special permission from the age of 15 or 16. You might also find that some businesses won't hire young people due to the restrictions. But if you're 16, you should be successful at getting a part-time job outside of school hours. Now I know that times have changed and it's really rough right now, 
but you need to keep trying. Don't let the world try and stop you. Now this is going to be controversial. I'm a strong believer that finishing high school is really important, but I will acknowledge that for some people, high school is not the right place for them. There are times when the school system fails an individual because they learn differently or they prefer certain classes and the adults are missing that. Luckily mm. these days, you as a student are able to be a bit more in control of your education as you get older. But if you feel that school is not the right place for you, you need to say something. Talk to your parents, someone at school, an adult that you trust, and let them know that you want to pursue a different course. Now let me be very clear here. If you don't want to go to school because you're being bullied, have social anxiety, or just need some more one-on-one -on -one existence, tell that to the adults. They should be able to try and find a solution for you, especially now that online learning has become a necessary part of society. You really should finish high school. If you don't finish high school, it can affect your future in a really negative way. It is not a decision to make lightly. That's why you need to talk to adults that you trust so they can give you some advice. I hope this video helped you see how many opportunities there are for your first job. Now you just need to go out, do your research and find out what you want to strive for. Once you've got a good idea of what it is that you want, then we can start working on things such as building your resume, applying for a job and having a job interview. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if the thought of finishing high school is stressing you out, check out this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!